Uh, hello, everyone. This is Manoj, and I'm back with one of the important aspects about one of the great books which Mackenzie has published back in 2022, which is The CEO Excellence. See, it has been found that among Fortune 500 CEO, around 30% last less than three years. And most significantly, two of five CEO fails within the first 18 months. Guys, trust me, heading a business with the capacity of CEO is not an easy task. It's not about managing the operating model. It's not only about managing the profit and loss. It is not only about making the shareholders happy. It's not only about creating a gimmicky marketing things. It is much more beyond what we think about the CEO. And that is why it's my personal recommendation to all the students right from engineering, from the MBA background, and the people who are working in the corporate world with the capacity of senior manager, VPs, EVPs. I mean, this is a playbook for leader. I mean, this book is highly informative and practical guide for CEOs and senior leaders who are seeking to build and sustain high-performing organization. I will come back to you later on as to why I mentioned that why this book is really for those who want to build and sustain high performing organization. One of the strength of this book is its focus on providing practical advice that can be implemented in a real world setting. I mean, look at these guys. I mean, they're superbly great. Caroline, Scott, Vikram, they have interviewed hundreds of folks, right? The another key strength of the book is its clear and very concise writing style. I think that's what the Mackenzie is known for, right? The top-down storytelling model. It's not about talking about everything and anything and do not come to the conclusion and straight to the point. So they have written a book in a such a precise, concise, and in a very simplified way that it's understandable. You can reflect on it. And trust me, this book is not only meant for the large organization. Even these startup entrepreneurs can read this book and they would really get to know more about the, the mindset of the CEOs, how they distinguish the best leaders from the rest. Overall, I feel that CEO excellence is an excellent resource for leaders, for the future leaders, who are seeking to improve the performance of the organization. It, re it really provides the practical advice grounded in data. I mean, that's the beauty about this book. I mean, the kind of research they have done, it's, it's super, superbly great. And trust me, when you read this book, you can literally apply this in the real-time world setting. And that's why I feel this book is highly, highly recommended across the board, whether you are pursuing your master's, the business management, the engineering, or working with the capacity of senior manager, VPs, EVPs. Let's touch me some of the important aspect of this book, right? I mean, what does the winning looks like for, for the companies? I mean, there are many CEOs doing many various things, right? But then there are few companies who really shines out, right? There are two reasons why these companies shine out, right? 
one they define win the game vision right they reframe the game with the vision i mean just look at the classic classic example of the master card what mr ajay banga has done with the master card when the companies were fighting to gain the market share which was 15% back then basically the digital payment or the transaction market share he said you have got 85% of the market left over why don't we focus on kill cash economy and then focus on win in the payment world so he did not focus on the 15% of the market share basically he deviated the whole focus on the upon the area where people really did not think about and that's how mastercard became one of the largest digital payment company right it's a bank but to me it's it's one of the largest digital payment gateway firm right it's one of the largest banking solution provider it's one of the largest security solution provider that's how ajay banga pivot master card from one level to the next level right let's talk about the adidas right i mean who doesn't know about the adidas on this earth look at herbert hanner right he made it very clear outgrow our competition and he said let's not focus on this gimmicky marketing videos and all those things let's help athlete perform better than their competition and today the moment you think of buying the shoe the first name hits in your brain is adidas right look at the mary bar right i mean ever since she has taken the leadership role in the general motor i mean she is very clear let's focus in transforming the transportation and today general motor is way way beyond bigger what it was before right it had gone through with the bankruptcy state right and today you see the general motor it's it's amazingly growing right it's art performing look at the ivan mens is right the daigo it's one of the leading beverages company in the world the world's best performing most trusted and respected consumer product company i mean these are the guys who have really disrupted their respective industry right and i think what has gone as a strong foundational principle in their business and which is why they become so successful in their respective industry is because they set the direction very clearly right they reframe the vision the strategy the resource allocation they know how to mobilize through the leaders right and it is really important for any ceo or any leader is to make sure that they create a lot of leaders a smart leader a leader who has an ability and the guts to question back to their boss and this is what they do right connect with the shareholder it's one of my favorite aspect which which this book talked about the social purpose interaction moments of truth i mean look at ajay banga right with the collaboration of many companies he decided that he would plant millions of trees right giving back to the society is really important and if you do it as a leader or the capacity of leader 
you will distinguish yourself, right? And the other aspect is the aligning the organization, the cultural aspect, the organization, organization design, the talent. Give an opportunity to your immediate leadership to drive, to accelerate, to commit a mistake, to recommit a mistake. And trust me, they would. They would succeed. And that is what this amazing, incredible leaders has been doing. I won't take much of the time further explaining about this book. But I fundamentally believe that if you read this book three to five times in 2023, trust me, your perspective will change. These are some of the classic examples which Ajay Banga or the Mary or the Iwan has talked about. I recommend you buy this book Read it online, reflect on it, and you will see a transformative version of yours. I will take a pause now. Thank you so much. And I will come back to you with the new great stories. Bye-bye.